गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल दिस इज स्वप्ना वेलकम टू एडवांस न्यूरल नेटवर्क रेडियो टूडेज अवर टॉपिक इज क्रेडिट असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम दिस प्रॉब्लम इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड लोडिंग प्रॉब्लम एंड द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लोडिंग सो दीज आर द टू अदर नेम्स ऑफ द क्रेडिट असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम Credit assignment problem is the problem of assignment of credit or blame for overall outcomes to each of the internal decision made by a learning machine and which contribute to those outcomes. While machine is learning to get the overall outcome, it will take some internal decisions. And here, by using this credit assignment problem, we are assigning credit or blame for that internal decision which. Are which are contributed to get the overall outcome. So this is the credit assignment problem, and these credit assignment problem divided into the two sub problems. The first one is the assignment of credit for outcomes to actions. This is called temporal credit assignment problem. In that, it involves the instance of the time when the actions that deserve the credit were actually taken. second process problem is the assignment of credit for actions to internal decisions this is called structural credit assignment problem in that it involves assigning credit to the internal structures of actions generated by the system so to understand this i am giving the one figure there are credit assignment problems are divided into the two sub problems first one is the temporal credit assignment second one is the structural credit assignment temporal credit assignment related to the time of instant time of instant and structural credit assignment is in uh, related to the particular action particular action for which we need to assign the credit for the overall outcome here the time of which internal decision is to get the output for that we need to give the credit assignment that is the first sub problem so here is the figure for example purpose to get the overall outcome to get the overall outcome i took the four internal decisions at, uh, at particular times first one is the this one it is represented with this and what is the first internal decision outcome is represented with o1 and second internal decision it is outcome of the second internal decision is o2 and third internal decision outcome is o3 and fourth internal uh, decision outcome is o4 these overall outcome i am getting by these internal decisions it are taken at time by time at particular time we have took that particular internal decision and these are the outcomes related so this these are the outcome related to get this uh, overall outcome as winning or losing the game if i won the game what are the internal decisions mainly contributed to who win the game to win the game to get the overall outcome that uh, at what time they are taking the internal decisions and what are the internal decisions are uh, going to get the credit to get this overall outcome that we can call as a temporal credit that we can call as a temporal credit so for example purpose i am considering this one and this two o1 and o3 these are the two internal decisions outcome are useful to get the overall outcome and here to get this for this internal decision to get the outcome to get this outcome these are the actions required that is a1 a2 a3 like this for to get the internal uh, to get the internal decision to outcome here also they may required some other actions which are represented with the b1 b2 and b3 like this for third internal decision also to get this outcome there may be a actions c1 c2 c3 like that fourth outcome also d1 d2 d3 like this some internal actions are uh, performed to get this output of for this internal decision this uh, for this internal decision for example i said na to get this overall outcome here i want to give the credit for this first internal decision and in this third internal decision this type of credit we can call as a temporal credit assignment in this also for to get this outcome particular outcome to improve this overall outcome this particular action a2 is 
has that contribution then we are we need to give the credit for this a2 that we can call as a structural credit that we can call as a structural credit assignment for this also third internal decision some c1 c1 action c1 action is uh, contributed to get this output uh, to this get output and this overall output this has the main contribution then we are giving the some credit assignment to this particular action that we can call as a structural credit assignment temporal credit assignment structural credit assignment all the credit assignment problems are divided into two types temporal credit assignment structural credit assignment this is about that information see here we are going to see that structural credit assignment problem is relevant in the context of multi component learning machine multi component learning machine when we must determine precisely which particular component of the system should have its behavior altered how much order to improve the overall system performance to improve the overall system uh, which particular component and that's what only we saw now which particular action it or which particular component is contributed to improve the overall system performance that we can call as a structural credit assignment next one is the temporal credit assignment it is relevant to the there are many action taken by the learning mission particular internal decisions or actions and uh, learning mission that's result in certain output we must determine which of these actions are responsible that's what we selected outcome 1 and outcome 3 is responsible to get the output that type of assignment we can call as a temporal credit assignment the combined temporal and structural credit assignment problem faces any distributed learning machine that attempts to improve its performance in situations involving the temporarily extended behavior so both are required to improve the performance and it is if you want to temporarily extend the behavior also then these two both are important so this is about the credit assignment problem by this i am concluding this and we will meet in the next video with this another type of learning thank you